I would encourage you to watch my previous videos on this topic. The CW is not profitable and has not been profitable in a long time, which is why they had issues trying to find people to buy in uh, into the actual uh, program in itself. Um, it's kind of crazy that a company, I guess, can can operate for that long without being profitable. But that's the case. Go watch those previous videos. DC, of course, has played a role in, in the CW as of recent years um, definitely when they, even i was in the review space all those dc shows that were dropped by cw still being dropped by cw it does look like they are expected however because uh they are reorganizing some stuff again watch those previous videos on the cw that i've done uh trying to become because they do hope to become profitable uh there's going to be some reorganization and part of that reorganization I mean cancellations all of that stuff says the CW right here is reported by the direct. Actually, I believe it was originally reported by Variety, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, CW is expected to cancel two more DC shows. Um, as the ongoing reimagining of, of the CW continues, cuts to the network scripted content have been plentiful since a major stake in the CW of, uh, of, of purchase last year by broadcast group Nexstar. Again, we covered all that. The emphasis has been less and less on scripted series like that of Arrowverse and its other DC properties and more on low cost unscripted content like the live uh, golf tour and all that stuff. Live sports, which look, man, they're trying to make money. If they're not making out money off of this pro product, you got to expect pivot. Definitely. If you get new owners, new majority holders are, that are going to that one, of course, get a return on that. That's going to be what's going to dictate uh, the future. All this come amongst number of DC, of recent, excuse me, DC cancellations by the network, which include Batwoman. We covered that Legends of Tomorrow and Stargirl. Right now, according to Variety, Superman and Lois and Gotham Knights are on the chopping block as the network continues its ongoing retooling. Uh, Superman and Lois in the midst of the third season of on the CW, meaning it has come to pass, which Variety noted that it will likely the upcoming season three finale will also be the series finale. So they may be chopping them both. I've also seen reports. I'm not I don't have them pulled up right here that they were going to choose between one or the other. And I believe that that uh, Superman and Lois cost more to make. Um, then what this Gotham Knights series, which is, again, the other show that's on on the chopping block, which just had its first series or first season not too long ago. Um, news of I mean, it, it looked like it, I, it was dead on arrival <laughs> upon announcement. It, it didn't look intriguing by any means uh, at all. But, yeah, it, it, it's to be expected. This isn't necessarily breaking news. It's just what happens. And, and this is why I said, now I cover this in other videos I've had before, but I, I want to do another one. Really talking about when you're left with, I guess you have to take advantage of that window that you have, right? There was a time period where comic book based media had the most attention and eyes that it had because normies had started to, to flock through and you had the growth of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and all of that. And, and instead of taking advantage of it, they try to modernize the stuff in itself, which is why you got all these goofy adaptations of of these, um, you know, these characters. MCU is now falling off, I would I'd argue, because of it. Um, and it's it, it seems like that that myst mystique, of course, has long been gone. But the ability to just be able to crap out decent stuff uh, or decently received stuff is gone and normies are inevitably going to move on to something else which is why you don't deviate from that because you know you've turned off two audience audiences hardcore members uh, of your audience that may be long time comic book lifers or whatever and then you have normies who were look they're, they're inconsistent they're flaky that's to be uh, a a anticipated so it's going to be just a bunch of ashes that a lot of the comic book folks are going to be left with because as the public opinion changes on this this sort of interest, let's say that, and, and people want to start, they, you know, the, those losses start to accumulate like you have right now. You got a new owner in this company. People are starting to reinvest. People are starting to make changes. Would you rather have had something that was, when the attention started to change, that was sustainable at least? For at least a hardcore demographic, or you're going to be left with what you have now where nobody's interested. 
this was not a sustainable thing. At some point, those losses that you get to accumulating and people say enough is enough. <laughs> we got to start making money. So I don't know what's DC's feature. Is there any hell, any shows at all going to be left uh, on CW after it's all said and done? We'll see. If you enjoyed this video and want to support other content, please become a member at ericdjuly.com. This is my own unique platform that replaced my Patreon. Our Ultramax, which is our highest tier, gets free shipping domestically even with Ripaverse orders and are able to redeem the Creator's Edition copy of ISOM number one. You can move up and down tiers or cancel at any time. Also visit Ripaverse.com. This is my comic book company that launched a $3.7 million campaign. We appreciate your support.